Everyone knows the importance of your list. Your list allows you immediate access to your biggest fans and allows you to generate new business without spending any more money. The question is, how do I use my list? Where do I start? I'm Christopher Small of Emerald City Law Group, and today I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to start your list, use your list to generate more business without spending any more money. Instead of telling you how to use your mailing list or how to use your list to generate more business, I'm going to show you. So in about five seconds, we're going to cut to a screenshot of me where I'm going to show you how step by step to start building uh, an email list campaign to send out to your biggest fans to generate more business without spending any more money. Let's go. Okay, welcome to my computer screen. As you can see, we just have a web browser pulled up. This is Firefox. Um, the um, email list uh, system that I'm going to suggest that you use is called MailChimp. The reason I like MailChimp is because you can import um, contacts that you already have. Uh, otherwise, people have to double opt-in, which is a long process, and you're going to miss out on uh, reaching out to some of your best contacts because they just will never see the double opt-in process. So to start, just go to MailChimp.com. And in actuality, you don't even have to start by going to MailChimp.com. As the email that you got from me suggests, there is a little um, icon at the bottom of the email. If you click on that, you can get um, a discount or some credit toward any service that you might have in the future. And I also get a credit towards any service that I might use in the future. So it's a win-win for both of us. Uh, the service is free until you get up to a certain number of users, uh, but you might as well start building up credit. Okay, so here's the, here's the website where it'll take you to the homepage. Just go to sign up for free. Put your email address in. Put your username. Put your password. Go to create my account. Okay, thanks for signing up. Please check your email and click activate account in the message. So I have confirmed my account. I'm going to just refresh the screen here, see what happens. Or actually, we'll just go back to MailChimp.com. Log back in real quick. Okay, take you to let's get started page. Put your information in there. Christopher Small. Organization information. Oh, it makes you fill these out. So how many people? One to five. Three to five. Yes. No. You do want to fill this information out though, your company organization. I think. Uh, you can put your industry. This will help to show um, when you send your campaigns out if you are above or below sort of the industry average time zone. Make sure you pick your time zone. This will uh, have an effect on when you send out um, your emails. Okay, you can upload a photo if you want. Um, I would. You can click this checkbox if you want to get emails from Mailchimp. I'm going to walk you through this whole process. So save and get started. Dismiss. Okay, so this is the dashboard. This is where all the magic happens. Over here, you've got campaigns, templates, list, reports, automation, search. Okay. Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do, and today we're just going to set up the basics. We'll get to sending out your first email next week. So lists, you want to create a list. Okay. You can call the list name whatever you want. I would call mine something like ECLG Network. The default from email is from me. The default from name is me, and you and I would recommend that you use your actual email here and not like an info or a contact. It just makes it more personal. And if you're sending these emails out to people, you want to have it feel like it's coming directly from you. All right, um, Christopher Small. That's who it's from. From me. My people, how they got on their list. I typically said something like, "You are a trusted member of my network." 
this series of emails is designed to help you and your business. All right, contact information list, yes. Um, notifications, um, I typically do a daily summary so you're not getting a bunch of emails. Hit save, you've created your list. Okay, now. Okay, so we've created a list uh, to get to the automation um, part of the, of the thing, we have to do a couple of steps first. First thing that we have to do is put at least one subscriber in the, in the, um, in the list. So go, just go to add subscriber and you can import your list later and I'll show you how to do this the next time. Email address, just put your own. Chris at Emerald City Law. Actually, I just do Chris yeah, at Emerald City Law Group dot com. First name, Christopher. Last name, small. Okay, click that this person gave me permission to be added to my list. Subscribe. All right, you've got one subscriber. It shows you right there. Okay, next thing you want to do is go to campaigns. Now this campaign you're gonna is just gonna be a draft, okay? It's not gonna actually be sent out. Click create campaign, regular old campaign. Send to the entire list, come down here and click next. And this is actually, by the way, if you ever wanna send one-off emails for some reason, if you have a, a, a specific message that you wanna send out at a very specific time, Maybe you had some really good news uh, with your business or something like that. You want to make an announcement. Uh, you could use the campaign. The automation that we're going to talk about the next time is the way that you would do it if you want to just build in that sequence. Okay. So name your campaign would be something like test email, email subject welcome, um, come to the newsletter. Okay. From me, from uh, this email address. Now this right here, I'll just leave. What this will do is um, we'll put the um, person's name um, in the message. Okay, so I'll say, for example, to Bob Smith. You could do first, what I do actually is first name, last name. And uh, what you, where you do it as right here. So you can just copy and paste this right in here. And what that'll do is it'll, in the to part, it'll say, you know, to Christopher Small instead of to no one or instead of to the email address. Okay, tracking, just leave all this the same. Social media, leave this the same. Okay, click next. Um, for this, just click um, one column, drag and drop for your theme. Okay, now this is the place where you're gonna actually write your the email that you're gonna send out. Um, it's really easy to do. Um, first thing I'll do though, just come up here, click the trash can delete that then if you click here what that's going to do is open up this box over here and you can write your email because we're just writing something that um, is going to be a draft we'll just do something really quick welcome to my email newsletter if you are receiving this you are a trusted member of my network Each week, I will send you helpful tips, tricks, and information to make your business stronger and teach you a little bit more about mine. If you don't want to be on the list, on this list, no hard feelings. Please just hit the unsubscribe button at the bottom of this email. I can't wait to talk to you and see your business skyrocket. Sincerely, Christopher Small. Okay, I would delete this little advertisement for MailChimp. Just get rid of that. Um, this stuff down here you want to keep. 
uh, if that looks good to you just hit next or you can hit save and close hit next and then you've got the draft okay so you don't want to send this you know it's all set to send what you want to do instead is come up here to save and exit go to the dashboard okay you're going to want to go to um, automation so the way the automation works is uh, every time that you put someone new into your list moving forward they will always start at the first email and the rest of the emails will be dripped out over time sort of like me if you're on this list actually there are people that are getting this email several weeks maybe months maybe even years later than others um, because they were simply added to the list later so what this does is allows you to add new people and always sort of um, have the message consistently across groups so they're not jumping in in the middle to upgrade it's very cheap come down to upgrade here and it's ten dollars a month for zero five hundred subscribers so all you want to do is enter your credit card information your security code all that stuff and and trust me this ten dollars you're going to make back uh, thousands of times over as you uh, use this list so you know um, for what two Starbucks a month you can have your list okay so after you fill this information hit place order you will have your automation set up so once you hit place order this will show up success your order went through thanks for feeding the chimp and with that we will be done for the day and then next week what we're going to do is I will show you how to do uh, put together your uh, first email how to import your list all the way and how to really get cracking with this so that you stay in touch with your um, you know your network with your potential clients with your current clients and uh, you can really supercharge your business this way okay I hope you enjoyed that information um, as you can see I'm gonna roll it out a little bit slowly because the goal here really is to get you to um, start this process take 10 minutes a week and get the ball rolling and take small steps to really make big changes down the road so uh, again I hope you enjoyed that if you have any questions please let me know hit re reply to the email um, that, that I sent to you with this information ask me a question let me know what's going on and another thing is too uh, uh, if you're watching this video right now then I, what I want you to do is leave me a comment below okay tell me if you see the value in your list tell me what kind of information you're going to provide to your list and tell me some of the things that um, you think maybe barriers to you taking part in this uh, uh, using your list if you think there are any leave a comment below and let me know as always thank you so much for your time and if we haven't chatted in a while please shoot me an email give me a call uh, let's go out and have a drink and catch up I'd love to chat with you all right take care